today we are playing your average game of Baldur's Gate 3. Except I downloaded a few mods. Enemy cloning, NPC randomization during combat, enemies enhanced AI, stronger bosses, enemies get access to random, sometimes overpowered items, and many, many more. Yeah, so that was the intro to my last Baldur's Gate 3 video. Things have gotten even crazier since then. There are now even more mods. The enemy multiplier can go up to times five, and I added a 20% chance for the randomizer to go, oops, all bosses on me. And by the end of this video, I will have broken Baldur's Gate 3 to the point where it is unrecognizable. Now, remember when I said, after many attempts, I finally escaped the final boss, of the tutorial. All it took was four hours, and both Lazelle and Shadowheart's lives. Yeah, that was just the tutorial, and it's only gonna get harder from here. Let's get started. Starting the recording. Do -do 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 -do. Well, I am back. It is the day of New Year's. Let's see how long it takes me to get this video out. First things first, I had to fight my way through a horde of bandits. Nothing too notable, just, you know, a cat, Hudurgar, and the avatar of Ball, and Housen and an ogre. And, uh, let me just sum up how most of these fights are gonna go. That cat got destroyed. Did you see how much damage it took? So thanks to the Azamar mod, I am able to bring all of my enemies down with the power of God. The only downside, the power of God has a very short radius of about 15 feet centered on myself. And on top of that, I am not immune to the damage from my own ability. So every round in combat or six seconds outside of combat, I'll take a chunk of radiant damage until I turn the ability off. The power of God! It burns! Why? Now, as fun as combat is, I'm going to avoid it at every opportunity I can. And on that note, did you know that acid puddles are permanent terrain? And you get some acid. Everybody get some acid. <laughs> well, one of them died. <laughs> that one's dead. Okay. It's working. After I recruited Withers to my camp, I headed to save the Grove from an invasion. That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on, Zevlord Aradin needs to get his eyes checked. This is not what a pack of goblins looks like. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at them all. It's terrifying. There's a spectator. Oh my god, look at them all! Who are you? It was at that moment that I made a very accurate prediction. I think my adventurers are gonna die here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I think they're gonna die. There's just too many enemies here. Is it my turn yet? What happened to my turn? Why did it skip my turn? Yeah, but it, it's still my turn, you guys. This isn't fair. They skipped my turn. So, as it turns out, playing Baldur's Gate 3 the way it was always intended to be played, with roughly three times the amount of enemies, would cause a bug to occur, which would skip around combat turns randomly, allowing NPCs to skip ahead of me in the turn order, despite me clearly having priority over them. Isn't that fun? Oh, they're so tiny. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> uh, oh, the mummy's coming after me. What did it do to me? Okay, okay, it's my turn now, apparently. That was weird. Can I hit him? Oh, I can get hit, apparently. What? By the time I was finally able to get a turn in, I had already been turned to mist by a random mummy. But at least now I could bring the rest of my party into combat for a fighting chance. I know you, you're the shopkeep from the Drew. He's a traitor. He's a traitor. Oh, the goblin's on our side. <laughs> That's awesome. What happened to the little guy? He was up here, wasn't he? Oh, there he is. Found you. You thought you could hide. Is that you? <laughs> oh god, no, not the black hole move. Not again. Why? He looks not very dead. He has 139 hit points. Gonna be honest, I haven't actually beaten this game yet. Oh. Who is that? Is that Will? Is Will dead? No, Will! <laughs> After several hours of fighting, I managed to lose every single allied NPC, and then some. 
is a starian dead dead shoot lady quincy has 111 hit points she might be good that's less than ideal even zevlor died to a naked bugbear and he was hiding at the top of a cliff dressed as lady quincy with easily three times his normal health you weren't even in the fight but despite everything i still managed to fend off the goblin horde on my first try oh it's finally done oh my god everybody survived oh there's so much looting to do uh hey buddy astarian we got a present for you after reviving Astarian and Will, I tried to revive Zevlor too, because death is stupid when magic is real. Alright, is Lady Quincy now the, the leader of the Tieflings? What, what's happening? What is the AI here? Because I brought her back to life. I can't talk to her. She's just not able to be talked to. So, unfortunately, reviving them only seemed to bug out their AI, and I wasn't able to get any quests from them. Well, anyways, I managed to recruit Will and got this amazing piece of dialogue. I suggest that we partner up. A worthy ally, perhaps. But I'll waste no time chasing devils while a tadpole feasts on our skulls. I've seen your people in battle. I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. I'll presume that's Gith Yankee for yes. Now let's move. Hmm. Oh. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> this is There's just so, many, so much more dialogue. There's so much dialogue because they have everybody in the party. It's great. Seriously, if you ever want to get every dialogue in the game, I would highly, highly recommend playing with a full party mod. It's honestly surprising how much you can miss in this game just because you don't have the right party members active. After talking to Will, I tried to make some friends with the rest of the Grove. Two mixed results. God. Well, shoot. Oh, she still has it. She's fine. She's fine. It's right there. Well, anyways, let's go talk to somebody else. That went well. After asking around the grove a little bit, I managed to find this druid named Nettie, who might be able to help me with my tadpole problem. Healing looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Okay. After getting the medicine from the doctor, I decided to leave the grove before I could make any more friends. But little did I know, I had a few more friends waiting for me just around the corner. What the heck? True soul? Why is the true soul there? What? This is so different. What is going on with the spider? It's going nuts. You know, I'm starting to think that downloading all these mods may have been a mistake. This whole fight was glitched out beyond reason. A few NPC models were totally broken. I want to hit it just to make see if it'll go back to being normal or something. No, it didn't fix it. <laughs> this lady just spontaneously combusted. I had nothing to do with this. She just lit herself on fire. What just happened? Oh my god! That was terrifying. <laughs> Why? And for whatever reason, this random dwarf got death saving throws. Why do you have a thing? I don't know. I don't want him to come back to life. I'll just throw him over here. That should be exclusive to players. Why is he able to not die? <laughs> what? Why are you being weird? What you doing there, buddy? Are you a ghost? What is happening? Oh god, the bear! Oh god! <laughs> Why is it like that? That's crazy! Oh, oh, it's shifting! Your model's being weird, too! Ah. What is wrong with your head? It's like a noodle. I don't like it. Oh. 
Seriously? And turn. Are you serious right now? <laughs> so, since every combat is taking multiple hours to finish at this point, I decided to hire three more party members to hopefully speed things up a little bit, without having to download any more mods at least. One of the hirelings was even an Azamar Paladin like me, so I wound up reclassing into Sorcerer so I could avoid redundancy. Then, just as I was about to continue my journey, this glitch happened. Don't worry about Will, he's just resting. There's a glitch that happens if he dies during the goblin invasion that makes him disappear after this point, and the only way to stop it from happening is to kill him before resting, so that's what I'm doing. No, he's still vanished. Dang it. Like, I can see he's right here, but it won't make him not disappear. Oh my god, he's back. After I finally got Will back, I spent another hour using the armor reskin mod to dress everyone up in the coolest outfits in the game. And yeah, that's where I ended that recording session. And uh, <laughs> remember when I said a little bit ago how I didn't want any new mods? Well, as it turns out, I have no self-control. So from now on, the enemy multiplier is guaranteed to be times five. But don't worry, because to counter the increased difficulty of that, I installed new mods, adding two new weapons to the game. Okay, so this is a new day, a new recording session. I turned everybody into Power Rangers. The first was the lightsaber mod. It does way too much damage, but it is kind of balanced in a way since I have to be right up in an enemy's face to use it. And during an oops all bosses encounter, that could be really bad really quick. The second weapon I installed was the Barrett M82 sniper rifle with a range of 250 meters and a damage output that will match the lightsabers. Oh my god. It's a really cool mod. So I went out to find some friends to test out my new toys on, and managed to get my first Oops All Bosses encounter. Excuse me, there's just a Minotaur sitting on a bri the bridge there. I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. Hold on, there's a few... Oh, okay, he spotted me. Never mind. Okay! And now that I had these new weapons, my spellcasters kinda just defaulted to crowd control and throwing as many effects out onto the field as possible. Take my bard for example, who I taught silence to, to completely nullify any and all spells coming from this massive group of bosses. I probably shouldn't have run up and did this, I probably should have stayed back. Oh, it's their turn. Oh, it can fly! Oh, they fly now! They fly now? They fly now. Oh god, he doesn't have a flying animation, he just- Oh my god! Oh, that scared me. Nier shouldn't be able to do much, considering... Why can they cast spells while silenced? Ow, stop that. Let's just hit this guy. Oh shoot! I didn't even plan that, I forgot that I could knock people off cliffs with that. That did a hundred damage of him just falling down there? Or was he still vulnerable to bludgeoning? Was that it? No, it doesn't look like it, he just died, oh my god. This was one creature. When we get to the goblin camp, it will be over a hundred, easily. What the heck is that? What is that? Oh, now I get two? That's so nice of you. Thank you. Oh my god. What is it? It's still there. Oh god. Um, short rest. Okay, that did not help. Short rest again. After fighting the Mintar, I heard someone yelling about an owl bear attack. But when I got there, it was already too late. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. Except death is still stupid and magic is real. Yeah, you can just revive him. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Edwin, how's it going? Edwin? Although Edwin didn't really seem all that grateful after I revived him. He wouldn't even talk to me. So I decided to just put him back where I found him. But his acolytes were already pestering me about avenging him for the owlbear attack. So I had to go off into the cave to fight a few owlbears. But the interesting thing about this owlbear fight is that there's more cubs than normal. Hooray! More creatures to multiply. 
Oh, God. Oh, God, there's so many owlbears. <laughs> oh, and my second Oops All Bosses encounter in a row. It must be my birthday. Oh, this fight was brutal. It took me two hours to whittle down their health. But as brutal as this fight was, it pales in comparison to what came next. I am not exaggerating when I say that the next fight broke me. That's right. I'm talking about the Goblin Ambush. So normally this fight isn't that bad. But funny thing about this particular group of mods, when a combat begins, every enemy NPC is given random items and spells. Then they're duplicated and then they're randomized in that specific order. So if by chance a creature randomly gets a spell, let's say find familiar, all of their duplicates will get that spell as well. You're seeing where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> Maybe I can sneak attack all of them without any of them noticing. Here it comes. Hello? Okay, it's lagging a lot. There are a lot of enemies. Look at the map. <laughs> are you kidding me? Just keep going and see if I can get through this in a reasonable amount of time. I hate it. What's your plan here? You're gonna dash and go around the building like everybody else? Way to go. Come on, only a few more, only a few more. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Dominated, are you kidding me? Spiteful suffering. Yeah, no kidding. This is insane! Stop summoning people! Are you kidding me? Oh, I thought it was these guys. But this is still a lot. This is still a lot, unfortunately. Oh my god, it's over. After finishing off the army of summoners, I thought it would be a good idea to go get Karlak, the last recruitable ally in Act 1. As the hell spend your lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety, should the need arise. Now, I know that there is still a lot to do in Act 1, but at this point, I was basically finishing one combat every recording session. This video was taking way too long already, so in order to put an end to this modded adventure, I decided to go out with a bang. I would fight the largest single group of enemies in Act 1, the Goblin Horde partying outside the temple. This would be the ultimate test of how far I'd come in my journey. Would I be able to fight off this many enemies? Would my computer even be able to handle it? All I could do now was find out. I fought through the initial goblins blocking the way to the temple and found a monster I had never even seen before. What is that? What is happening? Technically speaking, I've never beaten Boulder's Gate 3. I, I got like halfway through Act 3. It's a whole thing. But once I was done with those guards, there was nothing left in my way. I readied my shot, aiming directly for Volo's head. Before this fight begins, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for the amazing growth we've seen on this channel, despite me not even uploading lately. It's been really hard trying to manage my work-life balance lately, I'm just trying to get it all settled, but thank you for sticking by me until I have. In the meantime, while you're waiting for my next video, I just want you to go check out this video's SMALL CREATOR SHOUTOUT! Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi has an amazing YouTube channel where he plays Power World totally blind. If that sounds at all interesting to you, I would highly recommend going and checking out his channel. And if you just can't get enough of his content, you can also catch him on Twitch, where he and I will both be streaming a co-op Power World Nuzlocke for the foreseeable future every single Monday. 
Now, if this goes out when I want it to, there is a good chance that we are live right now. Links in the description to both his YouTube account and his Twitch. Come check us out live. Can't wait to see you there. But if all that isn't enough to convince you to go check out his channel, here are a few clips that I found that I think you'll really enjoy. Oh, <gasps> what are you? You're a fire type, but you're icy looking. But I like the aesthetic of anything that's Kitsune. So we're going to catch it. Increase defense, increase attack, increase speed, and decrease lightning. Okay, we're keeping it. Uh, you guys are done. And there's only one name that I've thought of since I came up with this idea that's fitting. We're naming it Otter Pop because he's, he's a little noodle. Uh, my video just went out and they just commented saying that I can catch this guy and continue to sell stuff. Let's find out if that's possible. Oh. If I punch him, am I going to get wanted? Do you think the pals care about a dead body in their hot spring? Do you think that makes the experience a little bit less enjoyable? I'm sure it's fine. I'm telling you, it is a crime this creator is at 200 subs. Please, 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 if you liked that, absolutely go check out the rest of his channel. Like and comment on his videos for the sake of the algorithm, and tell them that Rose Knight sent you. And if you have anyone you want me to shout out in a future video, head on over to my Discord. Post their info in the small creator shout out section. I'll check them out, and if I like what I see, I'll shout them out in a future video. But with all that being said, on with the show. I started the battle by shooting Volo in the head. The fight had begun. Or it would have, if the goblins hadn't responded by showing me the weirdest bug I've ever encountered in my hundreds of hours of playing this game. All right, here we go. Where did every, what happened? I think the game froze a bit, because it didn't multiply. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh God, commence the battle. Oh no, it's frozen. It's so frozen. Oh no. <laughs> Everything. There's so much happening all at once. Oh god. Oh my god. There are 69 enemies beyond what we can see here. It was not an oops all bosses. Thankfully. What is that thing? Excuse me, it's not your turn. Start by punching you. Can't reach destination. That's unfortunate for me. Uh, we're gonna jump over here. Can I jump, please? What's happening? Why can't I jump? Yeah, I don't care if I can't reach the destination. Get, let me cast a spell. It's just immediately not letting me do anything. Can other people do stuff? Okay, the game is, like, fully broken. Oh, it didn't even save. When I saved it, it didn't save. It's not even letting me load. Oh my god, everything is broken. I can't end my turn. I can't do anything. Yeah, okay, I can escape to the main menu. Let me try and reload and redo that. Holy cow, I've never seen that happen before. That's amazing. Yeah, because this is one of the biggest fights you can do in the game, period. There are so many enemies here. Doing a frontal assault of the goblin camp is so difficult to do. I've always snuck in and, like, gotten a good vantage point before uh, attacking. I've never just straight up just attacked from the front gates before. Okay, it's stuck at 0%. I don't know. <laughs> I think I broke Boulder's Gate 3. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I broke it. It's stuck at zero. No. <laughs> oh God, is this where it ends? I have never seen anything like this before. There were so many creatures that spawned all at once that I wasn't even able to save or load my game. I tried closing the program. I tried everything. In the end, I literally had to use my task manager to forcefully close the program, and it was the only thing that worked. I have never broken a game this hard before. This is crazy. I booted Boulder's Gate 3 back up and tried it again. Thankfully, this time it crashed pretty quickly, and that's all that happened. Okay. Here we go again. I heard a dog barking. Okay, so they didn't transform the way they were supposed to. Huh. Not up here, anyway. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's working. It's working. So I decided to turn down all the settings in the game to see if that would fix the issue. Because if it didn't, that would be the end of the challenge. Not with a bang, but with a... And luckily that worked. My computer managed to hang on for dear life this time. Kind of, sort of, almost. Con a lot of conditions lost and received. A ton of conditions. Okay, okay. We got another one of these things. Let's see if I can at least save it now. Okay, okay, we're not frozen. We're not frozen. Spells were flying, swords were swinging, and I was roasting marshmallows over the furnace that was my graphics card. Things were going pretty well, all things considered. Or at least, that's what I thought. As it turns out, the goblins had a trick up their sleeve that I never could have predicted. An insane, inspired strategy to take me down. Let me just show you what happened. Oh, these... These three still have no idea what's going on. These four still have no idea what's happening. Oh, it crashed. Did you catch that? Maybe a second time, though. Okay, good. He's doing stuff. Sort of. That was his turn. He didn't do anything. He just ran up to me. Oh, why? Why did it crash again? No! If you haven't picked up on what's happening, I wouldn't blame you. Let me explain. There are certain NPCs hiding amongst the enemies that are game-crashing bombers. Now, what is a game-crashing bomber, you might be asking? Well, it's simple. It's right in the name. Once it's their turn, a bomb goes off and the game crashes. Now, there is one way to stop this from happening. If they don't get a turn, the game won't crash. So it's simple, really. I just have to kill them before it gets to their turn. Oh, and just a little bit of a spoiler here. There are about four of these crashers hiding among the NPCs. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know where, like, the, like, best load is. I'll delete this save. Alright, and over here, we gotta use the dash. Cunning action dash. Where are you? Where's the skeleton that's causing the issues? Okay, it's not a terrible fight, at least. No, this is doable. I can definitely kill this guy in one shot. Or not. Hello? Oh, good. These guys are in the fight now. Oh, no, they're in the fight now. That's terrible. <laughs> no. All right. Quick save successful. Quick save successful. That happened. That worked. But... This skeleton did not take any damage. Undead, um... Are you immune to damage for whatever reason? It shouldn't be able to just not die. I mean, well, it did say that it saved, so let me load it back to that moment. Dang it, I'm, I'm, tr I'm stuck. It's not doing anything again. It's frozen again. What just happened? Okay, okay, yeah, okay, skeleton died. I just everything just happened all at once and it was crazy. Um, <laughs> just save it. Just it doesn't matter. It, it worked. Let's go ahead and kill as many of these guys as we can because I don't know who else is gonna freeze it. And that's exactly what I did. I fought and killed every single monster in the goblin camp. Occasionally crashing, but nothing that I couldn't recover from by loading up a previous save and heading for the crasher before they could get a turn. I was making slow and steady progress toward the end of the round, and I knew once the first round was over, I wouldn't have to worry about the crashers getting me anymore. But then, the worst possible scenario happened. Okay, they're all punching Astarian. He's got an armor class of 20. Dude. God, uh, okay, that's an invulnerable character. If it just causes crashes, I cannot stop that. I cannot kill him before it's too late. It is impossible. Okay, so don't let my tone there trick you. I was panicking. That character had a globe of invulnerability around them, which makes them immune to all damage for maybe one or two rounds. I'm not 100% sure how long it lasts, but it would guaranteed be impossible for me to hurt it before the round was up, which means that I needed to start entirely over from the beginning. And I've already been fighting for about three hours at this point. That's a lot of progress that I didn't want to lose. 
I knew it was only a matter of time before the game updated, and I lost all of my mods, so I had to finish this fight in this recording session. So, with nothing else I could do, I started back at the previous save, and hoped deep down that that crash was just random, and it had nothing to do with the invulnerable character. And I believe you just attack a Starian like everybody else. And then it's the Sharp Eye Breg. Hopefully it doesn't just instantly crash the game. Don't crash my game, dude. Please don't crash my game. I'd be very grateful to you if you did not crash my game. Please don't. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Quick save successful. And it crashed. No! 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 No, it's impossible! I can't get through! Uh, no! I'm so sad. Because uh, that means that the whole thing is impossible. Because it's invulnerable. I cannot stop it from doing its turn. Guaranteed. It is impossible for me to ever make it not have a turn. I cannot do it. Let me try and play it again, because I saved it right before the game crashed. Maybe that'll fix it. Probably not, though. Listen, you probably don't need me to tell you this, but restarting the game didn't work. I had to start the fight from the beginning. It was the only way. So I did. I'm just gonna miss this step. Lazel will be our eye in the sky. Hey you, don't don't worry about what's happening, okay? I'm just here to assassinate Volo. Alright, they randomized, they didn't multiply yet. Okay, they multiplied. Also, they shouldn't what is happening? There's just a big boat here. <laughs> Where did the boat come from? The boat, the boat's moving around. It's alive. The boat is alive. Okay, so I was super distracted by the giant boat that crash landed into the temple. I, I mean, if, if you saw this in your game, you'd probably be distracted by this too, rightfully so. Where did this come from? I did not know this was an enemy in the game that you could fight. I've never seen it before. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, how do I shoot the boat? I'm, I gotta get rid of the boat. The boat's too much. Where did the boat come from? Is, is anybody is anybody here the boat? I don't see the boat. <laughs> Where did the boat come from? Where did the boat come? Vampire spawn? No, no. Uh, over here, the shadow mastiff. Uh, that's adorable. Um, uh, boat, 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 please. Ogre? Is the ogre the boat? No, ogre's the brain. Okay. Okay, so none of these people are the boat. They don't... <laughs> What is the boat? What is this? This is this is insane. Let me see. I'm just gonna scroll across everybody's portrait. Come on. I know you're in here somewhere. Somebody is the boat. I know nobody wants to be the boat, but one of you has to be the boat. Who just said I'm talented? Oh, found you. It's a goblin. Don't worry, you guys. It's just a goblin. <laughs> Temporarily hostile and rallied. Apparently the boat is rallied. Uh, no special resistances. The boat has 17 hit points. Okay. Okay, the boat is dead. I think. I shot it. It should be dead, but it didn't disappear. Okay, so the boat's permanent. Boat's permanent, okay, everybody? <laughs> Can't get rid of it. That's, that's just life. You know, when I started this challenge all those months ago, I never thought I'd break the game this badly. And I just want to say I have never been prouder. So much so that I kind of tried something new for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. If I should keep doing this sort of thing, I don't know. I, sh I just hope you like it. In my heart, I'm not afraid of death. In this awful goblin base. But I never thought I'd have to see 
the entire goblin horde replace Booyak Piddle, Owlbear Cub, Rat the Traitor, all gone. I saved before the combat, this way I can respawn. But if it's true that there's no stopping this, and we're heading for the ultimate apocalypse, I'll prove that I can go the distance. Let myself walk the path of most resistance. Ooh. I was never a fan of dying, but I'm stuck just retrying. When I say that I went mad, it's because of you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Just one more try. We just keep breaking space and time. Just one more try. Look at their health, they will never die. Oh, we're going down in a blaze of glory. One tragic end to a million stories. Try just one more try. Oh, I thought that this would be easier. I guess I'll download another mod. But I already installed the one where I got to be a god. The one where there's no more carrying weight, and the one where I have my whole party. And the one where I got so many levels that my max went up to 330. But if it's true, we'll never begin again And we're headed for a final oblivion There's no way I'd ever log out with Delete my account with All these things left unfinished, Ooh. It'll be a painful end But at least I can pretend That it's all been worth it once I get all the views It's for the views it's for the views, the views, the views, the views Just one more try We just keep breaking space and time Just one more try Look at their health, they will never die Oh, we're going down in a blaze of glory One tragic end to a million stories Retry, just one more try. Oh my god, it's finally over. It's done. Oh, I really hope you enjoyed that. You have no idea how long that took. The sheer amount of recordings and takes I had to do to get that to sound as good as it did. Cutting the best parts of each take together, it t it was miserable. I am a terrible singer, if it wasn't already clear, and making that sound any kind of good was outright torture. Oh. Well anyways, I'm sorry this took so long. I worked really hard on this, I hope it shows. If you enjoyed that, please, 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 like and comment. All the YouTube things, absolutely become a channel member. I will be so eternally grateful to you for doing so. And honestly, I just want to knock this video off of its throne. It has been my number one video for way too long. It is a tutorial of a tutorial. Please help me get this video down to number two on my channel. And a special thanks, as always, to my channel members, Wasabi the Rat and Miranda Lentz. Thank you both so much for supporting the channel. You give me so much hope that I'll be able to do this professionally one day. I really hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, OUTRO NOISES!